and welcome to the Vapor Chronicles. We're back, and this time a little something from Sense. It's called the Blazer Mini. It's the little brother of the big 200 watt monster of a tank, which I also love, the Blazer 200. And uh, this is a little bit more restrained, a little bit more uh, civil, but it still provides an absolutely phenomenal vaping experience. Sub ohm tanks used to be the craze, and people still need them. Simplicity, coil heads that you don't have to rebuild, flavor, and easy filling on the go when you're at work, those types of things. And there's still a place in the market for that. I truly believe it. And I personally enjoy vaping them still, even though I can rebuild and I have RTAs and RDAs and all that. There's still a great place for these. And, tr and also, the performance of them is ridiculous these days. It's not like it used to be. The coil heads last longer as long as you don't use a lot of sweetener in your e-liquid. And the flavor is, well, you'll see. So why don't we break it down? I'll show you the ins and outs, and then we'll come back out. We'll take it for a vape. Let's take a closer look. So there you go, that's what you get in your package. A little bit of the uh, spare glass section, some tank color change, you get the white, the red, the black. You get the uh, this little coil right here. Let's take a look at this. This is the 0.6 ohm coil head. You can see it's rated to 50 to 100 watts for the blazer. See, it's a standard vertical coil. The 0.6 ohm is a ceramic coil. The 0.4 ohm is rated for 50 to 100 watts, and the 0.2 ohm coil is rated for 50 to 80 watts. You have your Black Delrin ultra wide drip tip, dual adjustable airflow control at the base, one and two. It does lock turn to turn. You can see on the actual uh, tank itself on the inside of the uh, top of the chimney where the coil connects, you have the little little logo on there. For your wicking openings. Copper plated 510 connection. Standard 510 drip tip. And to fill this device really cool, you can see the lock and unlock. It has this flip top fill design with a hinge lock. So like a little tiny turn and then it flips open. And there you go. Nice big openings to fill your liquid. In the center is your chimney. You don't want to drip in there, obviously. And really the system is pretty simple. I mean, it just has a little little plate right there that sort of locks over this little piece of metal right here. It is stainless steel construction. The tank holds a total of 3.6 milliliters of e-liquid. You can see it says blazer on the, other, on the other side there and it also says sense. It's machined into the actual tank itself. There's your little hinge on the back side right here. And they do give you a replacement for that little gasket right there. So when you push this down, you want to put some pressure because it will it sort of seals the air in the liquid seal and then give it a little turn and then it locks. No problem, not loose. And then you just unscrew and then open. Really, really cool. All right, so to change your coil, you grab the base, twist counterclockwise, and then just start spinning. And you'll see out comes your coil head. So this coil head, if we take a look at that, Unscrew it counterclockwise. This is the 0.4 ohm coil. And you can see that's rated from 50 to 100 watts. So let's put this one in. So what I like to do is I like to take the coil head and I like to just drip a little bit of e-liquid. So at an angle, I just drip into it. And as I'm dripping, I sort of spin 
and just sort of let that e-liquid fall inside. If it floods a little bit in the bottom or you get a little in your mouth, so what? It's better to have it be saturated than get a dry hit because once you burn that cotton, you're done. Throw the coil away and start anew. So I just sort of rotated a little bit and you can actually start to see a little bit of wetness form at the wicking openings right there and all the way around. All right, so once that's finished, screw this back into the tank. A little snug life. And then uh, open up your top. You can put your drip tip on if you want, just like so. And it's real simple to fill. I'll put it on a little stand right here. And we're just gonna fill it up. So right through the one hole, it'll breathe out the other hole and it should fill really, really quick and easy. All the way up to the top, 3.6 milliliters of liquid. And there you go. Drop the top, turn it, seal it. I like to close the airflow off completely. Uh, give it a couple primer pulls, which means with it out the power turn on in your mod or without it on the mod at all. Uh, you take this, uh, close off the airflow or have it really tight and take some pulls from this to sort of suck the liquid into the wicking. You'll see little bubbles form, uh, but I usually let it sit after I do that for a couple, like two minutes maybe, uh, especially if you put the liquid inside the coil to begin with and you should be ready to vape. All right. So we'll pop this on this mod. This is a new Yeehee. So as you can see, it's reading 0.4 ohms, and uh, yeah, looks nice and uh, clean on here. And uh, let's zoom back out and let's take it for a vape. There you go, beautiful up close. Uh, what's there to say about this thing? It's a sub-ohm tank, not very complicated. It holds a decent amount of liquid. I think the e-liquid capacity in this is exactly where it should be, considering they have a bigger version and this is the smaller version. Uh, it sits on this really well. It's a little small for the uh, the Monster SX Mini that I have here, the G-Class, but it still looks good on there, you know? It looks good on almost anything. Uh, it's a nice balance of size, performance, and the flavor is dynamite, the airflow adjustment. I have this thing right now in standard mode at 100 watts, it's rated 0.4 ohms on the SX Mini, sitting pretty on the Mini, and we're gonna take it for a vape, so let's do it. 100 watts, airflow wide open. Now, you don't have to suck it like you're earning money, but it really handles the, the airflow really, really well. Bubbles are popping, airflow is popping, we have flouds, flavor's dynamite, really, really good. I'm getting that real hot juice spray on your tongue because I vape it warm, and I love that. I love when the flavor just hits me right on the tip of my tongue, and it's like, mmm, I love it. Super cloudy. Uh, if you decide that you want to tighten up the airflow control and say go down to almost close to get that tighter draw, it gets that whooshing sound that you're pretty much used to by now for doing that. Flavor intensifies, heat intensifies, and the clouds get more dense, but it's excellent. Not for you mouth to lung, lung vapors out there. This is not for you. It's too wide, too too open, and it's not going to satisfy you in, in that respect. Uh, you can put your own drip tip on there. Love that, okay? I don't, we don't need fat, big drip tips on stuff like this. We want flavor, and we also want vapor production, and uh, this sort of meets both of those needs. Placeable glass section, three different colors for the, uh, the little uh, glass gaskets that they have here. And, uh, yeah, it's a win. There's not much to say. I mean, top fill, boom, like that. Fill it up on the go, close it, lock it up, and you're back to vaping. Simple on-the-go vaping performance is excellent. It's a win. Sense, congratulations, you have an awesome sub ohm tank right here, and I highly recommend it. I'll have links below if you want to pick this up. Let's take it for one more vape. Let's open up the airflow again. Long sustained draws, no dry hits, no leaking. It's a win. All right? So, I would really appreciate it if you liked my video. There's a little thumbs up below. Click the thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I'll send you an email, let you know when new videos are released. 
You can also find me each and every Thursday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Vape Team. Mikey Vapes, Vaping Fagan, and myself, we do it live, Cloudy Entertainment, week in, week out, and this week is episode 94. You can also find me Monday nights, 8 p.m. with Fresh 03 from the Fresh 03 channel. You can join us for a flavorful journey of do-it-yourself e-liquid mixing. Learn how to mix e-liquid yourself, learn how to save money, and do it all with some friends and that good feeling of community live, 8 o'clock p.m. Monday nights on the Vapor Chronicles channel right here, fresh from the kitchen. DIY on TVC. What more could I say? I have been loving it, and I think you will too. You can also find me on all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I have a private Facebook group for the vape team. I have a private Facebook group for Fresh from the Kitchen. I'm everywhere. I'm working hard. I'm loving this. Vaping saved my life, and I got a ton of passion for this, so why don't you join me? I'll see you real soon right here on the Vapor Chronicles. Have a good one.